All right, hello, welcome to the next Let's Play. It is Seventh Dragon, presented by Sega. Seventh Dragon DS specifically, developed by Image Epoch or Image Epic. Either way, uh, so I know, you know, Seventh Dragon, I played the middle two games first, Seventh Dragon 2020 and 2022. Yeah, this menu doesn't have any music, so uh, it'll be a little empty right quick. I might play some music in the background. But yeah, 7 Dragon 2020 and 2022 were PlayStation Portable games that I played, which, you know, 2022 is a sequel to 2021. After that, I could either decide to go backwards or forwards, because 7 Dragon 3 Code BFD might be the one that most of you guys know, if you know about 7 Dragon at all, because that's the only one that got uh, brought to the West. The other three games, including this one, did not. So I decided, you know what, let me start from the beginning before I go forward. Also, Code VFD does not run that well on my laptop. Still, it runs a lot better than it used to, but it's not enough to start a Let's Play. Like, unless y'all want a solid 25 frames <laughs> throughout each episode, um, I'm gonna need to upgrade my graphics or something. I've also heard Code VFD is kind of unoptimized as a game, which, playing it on my actual 3DS, yet, yeah, there are some times where it does feel like a little bit slower. It did, what I remember, but either way, we're playing the DS version 7th Dragon. Which, if you watch the playthroughs of 2020 2022, you're gonna notice that this game is very different from those. Now let's start. You don't need to have played 2020 and 2022 to play this one, of course, because it's the first game. A story left untold, seeds sown into a field of stars left to grow, that they might be harvested. Call it farming if you like, or gathering or grazing, or call it a massacre. This is the way of those known only as the dragons. But don't worry about that, now we're in this happy little village. But there are others too known as hunters. People risking everything, they risk it all for what they believe. On the eastern continent, scores of hunters have gathered in Kazan. Some fight for ideals, some for honor and wealth, some burn for justice. Today, one more hunter passes through Kazan's gate. They had no idea of what fate had in store for them. Oh, they surely didn't. It would have been hard for anyone to imagine. The fantastic road ahead. But you needn't fear. It's time to fling open the door to the unknown. That person entering Kazan, just one of the wide cast of characters in this world. Their name was... Here we are, character creation time! So I will say, 7th Dragon DS, which is what I'm going to be calling this from here on out, is the only 7th Dragon game I have not actually beaten. But yeah, I really have not gotten far at all. Um, and I've read some of like, uh... A read through, I really don't know what you call those officially, but you know, where it's like, it's a let's play, but it's like text and images instead of a video. I've read some of that, but that was like uh, years ago, I feel like, and I don't remember all that stuff. Uh, point is, I'm not really going to be able to give advice or 100% this game that much. Uh, so, you know, some of this is going to be as new to me as it is to all of you. So there's one hero, one person who has come in and their life's about to change. Oh right, I should probably go over the classes. So, fighter, brawny battler, a pure warrior trained in all weaponry and techniques. Rogue, ruthless rascal, an underground assassin who takes the low road. Samurai, wayfaring warrior, a wielder of fine katanas who puts all faith in their blade. <laughs> Knight, pleat clad paragon, a devotee of courtly honor who bears the brunt for all. Mage, savage scholar, a manipulator of mana who can cause catastrophes at will. Healer, matchless medic, a recovery specialist happy to provide backup for others. And Princess, Dancing Diva, a scion of Southern royalty with a commanding voice. So there are more classes than the previous Summit Dragon games here, which, you know, feels a little backwards, but it's mostly that, uh, 
the future Seven Dragon games kind of, well, at least the 2020 duology kind of combined classes together. So you know, let's just start with the main character that we uh, that I have decided on. A princess. Princess, oh, wrong. Princess Fizz. Yes. This runaway princess has decided that she wants to join a guild or something. Make a guild, really. Hi there, this is the Guild Management Center for Hunters. Hello, Aaron. It's the first place a new hunter in Kazan ought to come visit. It's a place for hunters to meet, to form guilds, and to sign up new members. Do you belong to a guild already, or are you starting your own? Oh, setting one up. Huh, I wonder what you want to call it. I know what I want to call it. With a name like Fizz, there's only a few names that I can go with. The Brewery Guild. Or the Brewing Guild. Brewing wouldn't fit. It's a Brewery Guild. Fizz from the Kingdom of Brewery. Brewery, that's a nice name. I'll register it for you. There's just one name there now, but you can add members at any time. I recommend finding three friends before you go. Go with your friends to the building next door. The quest office is the main place where hunters can find work. Anyhow, best of luck. I'll be seeing you. Of course, there is no princess without a knight, so we must bring in Cider the Knight. Soda the Samurai. And you know, really, that should be it. You know, we got the princess and the two knights, but uh, a rogue has wandered into the team and his name is Nikki. You know what, for now, we'll just stick with these four. Um, we'll wait until a, a certain point, which won't be too long before we introduce the other four characters. But for now, we have Fizz, Cider, Soda, and the uh, the Wanderer who just happened to stumble in, Nikki. All right, that was a lot of uh, preamble. Also, I got I basically got some action replay stuff in here, like the walk speed enhancing and stuff like that. So small stuff that'll just make this a lot easier. Are y'all not in the team? What? <laughs> oh, I realized Fizz was alone. I was like, wait a second. Hey, hey, guys. Get in here. What are y'all doing? <laughs> All right. Fizz will be the back line. Of course, Cider in the front, Soda in the front, and Nikki in the back. Nikki, technically, he could fit in either line because his skills are, you know, his stats are made for being both knife or uh, bow, I was going to say trickster, uh, rogue, which is basically what the tricksters, you know. They become tricksters in the future games. I always wanted to be the part of a perfect guild, so I'm gonna build one with my own two hands. It'll be fun to see what kind of folks come and join up. Yeah, and Aaron said we need to talk to Menos or Menace, who is next door. They don't see me any quests right now. Might as well look around town for a bit first. Mission is important. Or the quest of national importance from the government. There aren't any available now. Things have been peaceful lately. You can receive quests says requests from the townspeople here. I don't see any right now. Try talking to people around town and see what they need. Yeah, quests are a little bit annoying in this game. We'll get into that later, though. Welcome to our quest management center, rookies. This is where the world world's hunters come for work, and the rewards thereof. We mediate between clients and hunters. Keep doing requests in order to build a name for yourselves as hunters. If I stumble over my words a lot, this font is not the easiest to read. And my like difficulty when it comes to reading anyway, just combines to make a mess of like the dialogue that I'm looking at. I'm like, y'all, what are you trying to say? Do I get it? Yeah, I could read some of the words. Glad to hear it. You might also want to poke around. See, I, was, I thought that said puke around. I was like, ah, oh, you want to what? Poke around for any other jobs to do. We're happy to have promising rookies like you. Stay safe and good luck. Ah, yes, one last thing. Press the Y button to open your menu screen. The custom option is very important. It lets you spend your SP on various skills. As you adventure, you'll gain more SP each time you level up. Anyway, those are the basics, so get to it. All right. I gotta find some gillies for my journey. Oh, this is terrible. What to do, what to do. I wonder what I could do to help my brother out. And yeah, that's a not so subtle hint where we need to go, how we want to start. But yeah, let's start with what Minos said. Let's well, let's go through the menu options. We don't have any items, so we can't do that. None of us actually have any skills yet. We can't do that either. But we can look at our status. Pretty whoa. All right, all right. The status does not want to play nice with me. Well, it's nice that we won't have to be on this menu that often, because the equip menu basically tells us all the same stuff. Custom. That's the main reason we're here. So yeah, here's all these skills. You can see the bottom. There's a big old skill tree showing what skills lead to what, which skill you're highlighted on. Um, 
This is about to be difficult. <laughs> it's about to be difficult. Um, I don't know if I want to really go through everyone's skill sets here. Like this, I mean, this is the first episode, so it's fine being longer. But you know, I'm kind of ready to get into the action. You know, let's just try to breeze through some of these skills. So power, speed, intellect, boldness. This is skills that everyone can get. They raise certain stats. You can see there. Statecraft, no idea. I don't know. Basically, a lot of these skills are also prerequisites to unlock other skills. As you see the bottom right corner when I have statecraft lit up, it shows three other skills that are kind of related to it. Nobility. Um, so yeah, this is Holy Voice. This is a pretty good branch of skills. Heated words, hard words, and provoke. This is also an ability, yes. So heated words. Attack up for all allies. Hard words, defense up for all allies. I will learn heated words. Cruelty, evil voice, these are the status ailments inflicting on all foes. Um, actually doesn't sound that bad, but I don't think it's really something I want to do now. What I want is the whip skills, actually. Light damage and fear. Uh, damage and force on the wounds. Scared foes take hits for you. Scared foes will attack foes. Scared foes will kill themselves. So if you have seen the hacker for Seven Dragon 2022... Uh, 2020, 2022, Orko VFD, the princess's dominance build is basically the hacker, except the princess deals damage um, in order to inflict the quote-unquote hack, which is just fear. And, you uh, know, got a few healing skills. Each class has three uh, pages of skills, and provoke, uh, oh, I guess that does work with punishment, yeah, but I don't think that's a skill I'd really want at all. Royal order, order knights to arms, inflicts once it on one foe. And yeah, we'll see here with Cider. Let's just skip straight to it. Yeah, we've got some skills that can, uh, you know, work together with the princess. So double damage to wanted foes. Is that the only skill, actually? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was trying to sound all knowledgeable. No, it's just one skill. I mean, I had something going there. Anyway, shield bearer. Hello? Oh, three! <laughs> three, why? Why well, is not just one? Okay, well, Cider can't do a damn thing until level two. Um, so yeah, main defensive skills, elemental defensive skills, uh, you know, front line, back line, all elements, damaging enemies with the shield, which I will try to learn, guard master, uh, I don't really pay too much attention to this branch of skills. They're okay, probably. And then, you know, chivalry, some basic damage, some healing, Provoke, guard, react, act again after break or parry, and walk safe, avoid damage outside battle. Soda's got four builds. Um, Zambato, EI, Unarmed, and... Where is it? Oh, Muso. So Zambato leads to, you know, these skills here. EI is these skills here. Unarmed is these skills here. And uh, Muso lets you have all skills from all paths without switching stances, but only when your life's above 90%. I have no idea what I'm about to do for Soda. Uh, at the least, I know that I want to learn EI, hello? Okay, Katana Art, level three. Oh, okay, so you also can't do anything until uh, level two. Nikki, uh, thankfully like the most simple of these four people that we have so far. Uh, got some knife skills, you know, knife skills are single target inflict ailments like, uh, 2020 onwards. Uh, find extra coins after battle. Act natural. Attack up with the samurai around, always active. Part of the reason why I had Nikki, why I decided, hey, let me bring in a rogue as my starting, you know, team. He can work with, uh, Soda pretty well. And then both skills are kind of similar. I mean, double damage to one foe, you know, inflict some ailments too. There's the seeker skill, stem accuracy loss with bows. And you see, it's the very first skill you can learn. Dual shot. There we go. Okay, I was like, dog, what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll learn Seeker. Because I'm pretty sure Baked Attack also counts as lowering accuracy. Sonic shot. But I don't want to shoot Sonic. What has he done? Come on. Sneak craft. Proficiency learning quick movements. Uh, yeah, these are some, like, sneaky skills, I guess. Allows another ally to act first. Uh, there's a skill like that in seven in 2020 and stuff. I forgot what it's called though. Ready to run. Yeah, I know that skill pretty well. Hide, trick, react, act to get on an ambush or a trap. Out hunting, go look for monsters. E easy to find. 
as you see, I'm not really the best at explaining all that stuff, but you know, the skills tree is definitely more intricate, especially because they show you all the skills, nearly all the skills at once. So, you know, I'm like, okay, let's try to quickly go through these. <laughs> Still no one? Sheesh. I'll start the guild. I've been playing forever. No one's coming to join up. Hello, anyone? Sony, please, please join my guild. Build a guild. Quest available. Quest not available. Once the quest opens up, you may send it any time from the quest office. Kazan's quest clerk is at the left desk in the quest office. Go and take a look. That's the only part about quests. You gotta open them up from the NPCs and then walk to the, you know, guild, whatever guild center is in town or nearest to you. And that's how you can start the quest. You can get the stuff for the quest before starting the quest, of course, but just some quests you really do need to walk back and, and get them started from the quest office. Hiya, have you heard of a traveler's amulet? It's something that you make to keep travelers safe. Right now, my brother's away journeying as a rookie hunter, so I wanted to make a traveler's amulet for him. But you absolutely need a certain kind of knight. He's leaving Kazatsu, though. What do I do? Prayer for a traveler. A traveling maze is a lot like an adventurer, I think. Oh, what's that? Maze will do any fighting? <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure about that if I were you. Hey, I play Code VFD. I know what's up. They don't know, ma'am. They don't know. You are like 20 years uh, ahead of your time. Prepare yourself. You're going to want weapons, armors, accessories, and lots of items, and some snacks. Oh, you say you don't have that much money lying around. Oh, yeah, how much did I spend? Fizz, how do you know how much money lying around? How much are we cooking with? A hundred. Fizz, you just ran out the kingdom with nothing, huh? You... Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, we are lucky Cider and Soda even caught up to you. Did you get the order? Yes, of course. We heard from Mr. Minos. Can you fulfill it? It won't be easy to find that much gear, but we'll do our best. I appreciate it. By the way, yes, I know what you're looking for. Roosh Swordsmith. Oh, yeah. In this game, Lucia are called Roosh. It's more of a translation thing, you know. Because this game is uh, fan translated by Pokétex, the same person who translated 2020 and 2022. Code VFD is the only game that officially came to the West, so of course they have different names for stuff, like Lucier instead of uh, Roosh. Roosha. Roosh? I don't know. Hmm. My, this is impressive. You weren't kidding. Is that all you wanted? Well, you were able to get a good deal on it, right? On oh, this sword, it's as expensive you'd expect. Okay, I get it. Can't blame me for trying. Thank you very much. Thanks, I'll see you later. Someday, if you find a weapon that suits you, you'll go places, kid. Do you mind? There's no reason for us to really go to the weapon shop. We at least got, like, basic weapons on us. And a lot of this other stuff is, like... I mean, Fizz does have a whip, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah, like, we're good on that. Uh, oh, does Nikki only have a knife? See, that might be a problem, then. Yeah, you only got a little sword. Nikki, come on. So we did need to come here. Nikki, that's all our money. Oh, <laughs> no, we're poor already. Anyway, I'll try not to, uh, you know, waste too much time here. But uh, there are some barrels and stuff around here that you can get items in. It's some graffiti, but you can't read it. Is that Izo? Well, I'll try to remember that later. Um, <laughs> that's... It's probably gonna be something I will forget. All right, finally, what's inside? Oh, oh, we're moving up, we're moving up. Three gold kai. Okay, let's get the last quest here. Jeez, what a pain, what am I going to do? I can't carry that thing. At this rate, I'm gonna be tossed out of the guild. Courier for a day. So let's start by accepting these quests. Build a guild. Prayer for a traveler. A courier for a day. So you build a guild set to talk to the client, so let's do that. The other two, we can, uh... Well, we also need to talk to the client for the, uh, courier one, but yeah. Huh? Did you guys maybe possibly receive the request I put up? Yeah. What? No lie, really? Oh my god, thank you. I was getting super worried. Man, I am so glad you took it totally. Okay, let me explain things. I'm a rookie hunter, but I still want to form a guild. Don't look at me like that. It's more fun this way. Hey, Fizz has no place to speak. She's, she's never hunted a day in her life. She just ran here because she thought it was cool. And dragged cider and soda with her. They didn't learn the truth to a bunch of friends to party with, right? But nobody showed up. Is no one interested? Oh, does nobody have confidence in me because I'm still learning? Hey, I bet you could do it. You could convince some people to join my guild. Well, at least two people, I guess. That's enough. Huh? Where can I find them? I don't really know. But probably not here. I mean, I looked all over town and found nothing. So I would just look around outside of town. I'll be waiting for you. Unfortunately, I know where to find those people. It's not going to be this easy later on when I'm completely, like, blindsided and I don't know what's going on in the game. 
Ah, oh, you must be the ones who've heard about my troubles. Sorry about that. I'm the leader of the courier guilds. My job delivers packages, but I forgot all that I'm getting these days. It's throughout my hip. I could ask my son, but the monsters are strong. But you'd have no problem. Some courier I am. I can't even walk. It really is a shame. If you could deliver this to Miros at my place, I'd be most grateful. It's for a popular night, Miros. Please deliver it for me. Can do, mister. And yeah, these are some shops. I don't know what this place is, actually. Oh, lunch to go. Hi there. Huh? I bet you wonder how good this tastes. Alright, this is some stuff that I never really use. I mean, look at this! What do you mean? 500 for 13 mana. Actually, there might not be that many mana healing items in this game. I, I don't know. I don't know. That's... Because this game's a lot more stingy with its items and uh, stuff than the future games. Four gold. God. This is not making up for Nikki's cost. Yeah, yeah here we'll save. I say that's the end, and over here this is where you can get healed from some ailments or revive yourself. Yeah, the uh, Kazuya Nino is one of the developers for this game, and he's the same guy who worked on Etrinasi. Um, I don't know if he's been in for every Etrinasi, but at least the earlier ones. And you'll see a lot of similarities between Etrinasi One and this game. You know, first being that there's this there's this big like there's a very different economy when it comes to revival items and MP healing items. Anyway, here we are on the world map. Um. Which, yeah, that's a, another difference from, you know, this game and the future Seven Dragon games. It's an actual world map. This game is much more of an RPG, traditional RPG, than uh, the future Seven Dragon games. Now, let's talk to this mysterious lady, right? Whoa, hey, where am I? I meant to be heading to Kazan. Invited to Rita's guild? Hey, are you travelers? You, you startled me. Yeah, you're inviting me to a guild. You're saying I'll get a warm welcome? I tried to go on a journey, but I'm kind of a scatterbrain. Oh no, it's been a mess. I was starting to wonder if this was for me. If they'll accept me, I'll gladly join up. Anyway, I want to cause on now. Pardon me. Bye. Strange object. Oh! Hey, you learn something new every day. I did not even know you could do this. I didn't know this was a, a save thing. What is that even supposed to be? A block? I, I thought this was just part of the background. Anyway, we haven't even gotten into a battle yet, which I would really like to do before the episode's over. There we go. Bluegrass Nymph Posse appears. So one difference in this game, um, yeah, this is a 2D game, so we're not gonna get the flashy 3D uh, animations for skills and stuff, but we do still have some nice little animations throughout the battle. For now, I think we can handle this pretty simply with some basic attacks, right? I mean, especially for uh, Cider and Soda, because neither of them have any skills. Actually, same for Nikki too. All he's got is Seeker. So let's just do it. I just realized none of us can heal yet. Bang! Yeah, some people, some people might prefer the uh, faster pace of this game compared to 2020, you know, onwards. Because, you know, this is uh, limited DS resources. Everyone's got quick animations for stuff. Uh, no crazy, hyper unique animations for skills and stuff like that. But they do have some really nice, like... Basically, they work with what they've got in a really nice way. Like, even this game, I like how they uh, show off the character's skills. Which, you know, we'll see next fight. Which, yeah, we have a quest to collect three nuts. Which uh, can only be gotten by uh, these little dudes. Nutshells. And yeah, the rabbits the, are still here. Yeah, they they originated all the way from here. Let's get some heated words in here. You two are level one. Nikki can't use any skills either. We can at least see Fizz's skill. Oh, Fizz, you're moving slower than I thought. Ah! Soda! <laughs> Please! There's no revival items yet. I don't want people to lose their experience already. We don't have any, uh, items either, so let's see. There's not much we can really do right now, actually. Okay, let's, uh... We just gotta hope that Soda doesn't get hit, or Cider. Oh, Fizz suddenly went first. I guess it's just her skill that made her move slower. Um... Alright, how we, how we doing? Cider, no! Look, I don't want to lose out on equal experience already. That's tough. Yeah, we didn't buy any sort of uh, 
armor because SOMEBODY spent all our money. Oh man, look at us, we're already dead! One episode in, Cider's already down! Yeah, help us up. Dead. We have just enough to stay at the inn. Yeah, anyway, how much- yeah, we got like- we got one gold, you know, we're not really doing much. In terms of armor, so uh, it's about to be tough around here. And none of y'all even have the item that we're looking for. Whoa! Would y'all calm down? Jesus! Ow, ow. Like, we can't even heal yet. Someone's got to learn how to heal next level. You know, once we level up. Which is still gonna be a few battles away, huh? Okay. What's inside? A par of fruit. Oh my god, I forgot about this place. Yeah, I was looking around town for some sort of free items I could get. Uh, yeah, I forgot this house. Par of fruit real estate pamphlet. Uh, you don't need this, you put it back. 50 gold, now we're talking, we're speaking, we're dialect. We are dialoguing. It's such a great spot, but none of the hunters want to sell it down. What a pain. Cause so I was like, okay, I don't think I can go back out without some sort of defense on some characters at least. Cause uh We will die otherwise. Yeah, like let's see, what do we got? It's it's still not much that we can work with here. Okay, now we're looking a lot better. Now I think we should just hurry up and do that uh delivery quest, cause uh, otherwise the other quest we want to try might kill us. We don't have much money left, and yeah, Miros is not far away. No! Don't surprise us! Cider, okay, okay, we can do this, we can do this. Come on, heated words, heated words. Cider, come on! Cider, you're scaring me. Soda, too, honestly. Let me, uh... Have you two defend. Our drinks are in danger! Nikki got paralyzed! Okay. Well, I know Soda is not gonna take 17 whole damage. There we go. Y'all are scaring me! I did not remember the start of the game was difficult, but also I don't think I've ever ran a team like this. But like I said, I've only played like the start of the game. Like, like twice or something. West, Kazan Republic, East, Miras Confederation, South, Tadoa Mountain. We're going to Miras, please, no more fights, thank you! We are safe within the Federation of Miras. I'll turn up and meet that, uh, that person, okay? I am pretty sure I know where they are. Uh, this side? Thank it's you. Do you need something? Huh? A package. Ah, it's my childhood friend in my hometown. Is she interested too? Oh, my heart's pounding! Anyway, you've certainly done your job. The Courier Guild always gets things done on time. Thanks very much. Courier for a day. Yeah, let's complete our first quest before calling the episode, because uh, a lot happened this episode. We died already. <laughs> Not a game over death, but... Um... That wasn't pretty. <laughs> Watching Cider drop down like that. Cider doesn't even have a shield yet. Like, we... Really wish Fizz uh, decided to bring a little more money before <laughs> going on this journey. Can we handle two slimes? Okay, you know what I'll do? EX, uh, if you've seen this, you know, again, 2020 onwards, uh, you'll know EX is like something you don't unlock right at the start. Okay, the slime was not liking that. But yeah, in this game, it's, uh, primary function, well, its starting function is just a power boost to whatever, you know, attack or healing that you do. Later on, you do unlock EX skills, of course, but yeah, for now, it's just, uh, you can use it three times, uh, per non-in visit. That is a weird way of saying, to restore your uses, you go to an inn. Which, speaking of, we might as well go to one now. But yeah, it sucks that uh, three of our team of four cannot even use their skills yet, so things are definitely slower around. Here we get it. We got a lot more risk of dying. Oh, Jumanji, thank goodness. Here. Oh, he got it just fine? Ah, good to hear. My legs are my meal ticket. I'll share. I'll teach you guys the trick traveling fast. You learn the sprinting party skill. 
Press B to dash around. Doesn't that make you just want to join my guild? Oh, just kidding. Anyway, my hit should be fine in no time. All right, get my reward. When you complete a quest, your reward will be in the quest office. Give you all your completed quests there. Moving extra fast now. I already had the double speed uh, code in there. How does it go? You have to click quest log. Yeah, 300 gold. Oh, we're eating good. We're eating good. We don't get any fanfare for completing the quest, unfortunately. Quest done. Courier for a day. So I think that's a good time to end the episode. Uh, you know, first episode of Seven Dragon DS. Hope y'all are enjoying it. I know this was a bit of a slow start with me starting off explaining all the classes in the best way I could and, you know, dying. Okay, I'll get over it. I'll get over that. But <laughs> it's just, I don't think I've ever seen someone die so quickly in this game. I usually have the money for, uh... Accessories or something, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, uh, next time we will complete those other two quests and see where things go. Don't worry, the game will pick up. Uh, I know this is a, again, slow start, not just for me, but for the game. But don't worry about it. Don't even worry. It's called Seventh Dragon for a reason. So until then, later. <laughs>